Good evening and welcome to Eagle Eye News at 6. I'm Samantha Avila. And I'm Adrian Ellis. Eagle Eye is projecting that Joe Biden is going to be the next president-elect and the 46th president of the United States. This would make Senator Kamala Harris the first woman to be elected as vice president as well as the first person of color in this role. In Alabama, former Auburn football coach Tommy Tuberville has been elected to be Alabama's junior senator, defeating and replacing incumbent Doug Jones. There were five amendments to the Alabama Constitution on the ballot this year. All of the amendments were passed except for the second one. To learn more about the past amendments and other updates with the election, you can visit our website, eagleeyeauburn.com. Auburn University has announced their spring 2021 academic plans, which includes modifications to the academic calendar. The modifications include a delayed start to the spring semester, replacing spring break with wellness days spreading throughout the semester and adding a reading days before final exams. The semester was designed this way in an effort to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmitting on campus from traveling. It also supports efforts to provide on-campus learning next semester. Key elements of the spring calendar includes that classes will begin on January 11th. Spring break will be replaced with wellness days on February 16th, March 10th, and April 1st. And classes will end on April 22nd with a reading day on April 23rd for final exam preparation. Final exams will be completed by April 30th. Tiger Scheduler opened up last week, and as we approach registration for the spring, Auburn University Provost Bill Hargrave sent out a message to students last week with information about spring courses. He said, our goal remains to offer more in-person instruction while also allowing you to maintain some of the flexibility that online and blended modalities can offer. Spring 2021 courses modalities include a mix of face-to-face -face and online formats. Because instructional plans are shaped by ongoing health and safety parameters, such as limited classroom capacities, some face-to-face -face courses may require students to attend on alternate days of the week or may be offered at non-traditional times. He also encouraged students to be mindful of courses' instructional methods and try and select modalities that best reflect your personal learning style. Registration options for students starts on November 11th, so start building your schedule now. Auburn University reported eight new cases of COVID-19 this past week, bringing the total amount of confirmed cases to 1,893 for the university. In addition, Lee County has reported 1,859 cases since September 4th with 65 deaths. If you think you have or have come in close contact with someone who has COVID-19, please reach out to the University Resource Center at 334-844-600 as well as by email at covidsourcecenter at auburn.edu. As the semester comes to a close, Auburn wants to remind students that the fight against COVID-19 is not over. All students that have been selected for centennial testing are being strongly encouraged to participate in the process. Those who are selected are asked to make an appointment for testing, which is performed at Baird Eves Memorial Coliseum and takes fewer than 10 minutes to complete. Centennial testing is a crucial component of Auburn's plan for a healthier you, as it helps the university monitor the asymptomatic infection rate on campus, promptly respond to developing trends, and sustain full on-site operations. For the initiative to be effective, the weekly testing sample should represent as many students from the main campus as possible. Students who have not yet registered for centennial testing should create an account through healthy.verily.com. Coming up, an Auburn senior was sworn in as mayor and two Auburn alums are awarded finalists. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Eagle Eye News at 6. With his parents by his side, Auburn University senior Messiah William Cole took the oath of office at the new mayor of Camp Hill, Alabama last Monday night. The 21-year-old industrial studies major was joined by his family, former teachers, and more than 40 residents for the festivities at Camp Hill Town Hall. Williams Cole defeated incumbent Ezeal Woodyard Smith 259 to 156 in an October 6 runoff election. The mayoral race went to a runoff after neither William Cole nor Woodyard Smith earned a majority in the August 25th election. The Auburn student spent the six weeks between votes working on his studies and implementing a hybrid campaigning approach that included a social media push and face-to-face -face visits with Camp Hill residents. Williams Cole hopes to use this degree and role as mayor to help others, especially children. The Eagles Foundation, launched in 2019 by Auburn alumni Denise, Denise Sloop, Katie Basden, and Board of Trustees member Sarah Newton, recently joined the Eagles students on the Auburn campus for a check presentation to fund a new learning resources lab. 
EGOALS is a comprehensive transition program for students with intellectual disabilities. The program provides a post-secondary education opportunity for students with intellectual disabilities to engage in a two or four year campus experience. The new lab will provide computer, printer, and technology enhancements in the Dawson Building, home to the Eagles program. Auburn University doctoral graduate Justin Antos was recently named a semi-finalist for the Grammy Music Educator Award by the Recording Academic and the Grammy Museum. Antos teaches at Dwight D. Eisenhower High School in Blue Island, Illinois, made the impressive list of semi-finalists not only for his impressive range of accomplishments, but also for his outstanding character. The Music Educator Award recognizes current educators who have made a significant and lasting contribution to the field of music education and who distribute a commitment to the broader case of maintaining music education in the schools. The finalists who will be announced in December and the recipient will be recognized during Grammy Week 2021. Elena A. Devara, an assistant professor of social foundations in the Auburn University College of Education, was recently named as a 2020 Critics Book Choice Award recipient from the American Educational Studies Association. This competitive national award recognizes outstanding books in the field of education. Past recipients of this award have become some of the most influential scholars in educational studies. Her book, titled Teacher Education Reform as Political Theater, Russian Policy Dramas, was published by Sunny University Press. When we come back, our new pet of the week is sure to make you smile, and the Writing Center wants to help you write grant submissions. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Eagle Eye News at 6. Auburn University Writing invites students, faculties, and staff to attend its Grant Writing for Beginner workshop on November 11th from 2 to 3.30 p.m. via Zoom. This workshop will help participants write a more effective grant proposal by offering strategies for identifying what funding sources are looking for, tailoring your research ideas to fit the call for proposals, and developing a compelling narrative that will grant your idea funding. Resources for the grant support at Auburn University will also be provided. To learn more about all the workshops, you can visit the WOW Wednesday event page. This week's Pet of the Week from the Lee County Humane Society is Luther, or Lex to his closest friends, and he is tired of fighting off Superman and just wants to find a nice home to relax in. This cute boy loves to snuggle, and whenever you get on his level, he is in your lap, ready for kisses and head scratches. Luther is ready to get rid of the supervillain persona he's known for and wants to show you his sweeter side. Luther is two years old, unaltered, vaccinated, and microchipped. He is heartworm negative, and his adoption fee is $100. Apply for him today. We're out of time, but for more Auburn news, head over to our website, eagleeyeauburn.com, and check out our social media pages. I'm Samantha Avila. And I'm Adrian Ellis. Thanks for watching, and War Eagle.